Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is your pick a card oracle message for Saturday, October the 19th. The deck that I'm uh, using today is the Native American Oracle Cards. Stop and think about a situation that you want an answer to or um, ask your angels for an answer to your situation and then look at which card here you're drawn to. Use your intuition Use your gut. Stop and think about it for a while. I'm going to timestamp it so you can go straight to that card once you pick the card that you want. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. And if you need longer than that, you can pause the video until you pick the card you want. Okay? All right, I'm going to count to 10 right now. Okay. So the first card, if anybody's picked this one, is number 31, and that looks like it is the totem. So the message for you today is belonging. A totem is similar to a heraldic emblem of our family or clan. It may be a simple pole carved with the myth mythical story of a people. A totem can also include plants and animals and may be used to tell a story marking a specific event that is meaningful to a group or in some other way described a collective identity. Sometimes they are revealed during rites of passage or initiation via a vision. Totems represent the powers and protections provided by being part of a group as well as the responsibilities and obligations of all members of that group. So the message is, when you are uncertain of which action to take, look to your own totem, whether personal or shared. Acknowledge your core beliefs, and act accordingly. Okay, so for those who have picked card number two, it is number 24, and that card is about the Calumet. This is about peace. The Calumet is the largest of the Native American pipe and one of their most sacred objects. White Buffalo woman taught humans about it and rituals associated with it. It was used to seal covenants or treaties as a way to ensure peace. It was also used in rituals to ask favors from the gods in nature. As soon as it was lit, it was raised towards the sun, then lowered to pay homage to the earth, and finally to the four directions. The message is, find a way to create a peaceful, mutually beneficial solution, honoring and respecting others involved. All right. And the third card, if you picked it, is number 14. And that has to do with the gods. Cocopelli the Demiurge. Cocopelli is the young god of music and fertility. His flute, a phallic symbol, evokes and promotes fertility in both the fields and in the animal kingdom. As he plays his flute... Snake or sexually, sexual energy wakens and the natural forces of the world stir to life. Coco Pelli's consort was also honored as the mother of the divine race. All children born with special talents are descended from her. We are reminded that whenever we step into our personal power or gifts, we are tapping into the powerful energy of Coco Pelli. We can never be quite sure what the results will be or what energies will awaken just those results will unfold quickly. The message, be courageous and use your gifts. Do not shy away from risks, risks, but engage life with your whole body, mind, heart, and spirit. All right, everyone, have a great Saturday. Bye-bye.